Bodie.com. Welcome back in the garage with Bodie Stroud. Welcome back, everybody. And uh, before we went to break, we were talking about electrical and and all the cool stuff that you can do with it these days, and the remotes and door poppers and key fobs and push button starts, and it's uh, it's all possible. And uh, we're answering some questions for I think uh, Fred Kinnear. Kinnear, yeah. And uh, another question Fred had was grounding your vehicle. You know, and, and the proper way to do it. I mean, what we we do is you just always want to make sure that you got a good ground on your uh, your um, fuse panel. You want to make sure that you got a good ground from the engine to the chassis, and you want to make sure that you got a good ground from the body to the chassis. And if you got those things in there, you're probably going to be okay. If you don't, you're going to find out really quick. Because if you just have a, a real, like, you know, like a 12-gauge or a 14-gauge wire grounding the whole car, you're going to find out because <coughs> there's going to be smoke real yeah. quick. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. you know, a lot of w w I've, it's happened to us where we've been hauling butt and we forgot that, you know, oh, shoot, we forgot to hook that ground up. And we've gone through that little wire, and it has caused a fire. And, and when your battery's hidden behind panels and you see the smoke coming out, you got to start yeah, ripping stuff out. Yeah, you're just out. ripping That's stuff not apart. Fun at all. <coughs> so I recommend, this is what I recommend, doing your wiring and before it goes to upholstery, make sure you test everything, fire it up, make sure everything's working good, you got good grounds. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty simple deal. I mean, we go big. We all use like a a one aught or a zero aught battery cable and and make our own cables and just make sure you got a really nice big ground on there yeah and you want to make sure you get straight from the battery to the chassis you <coughs> especially if you're using a powder coated chassis you want to make sure and sand down right around that bolt hole and get metal to metal with that yes. cable yeah Especially if you got powder coating <coughs> or stuff like that, you really yeah. want to make sure that you're getting metal to metal. The more metal you're grabbing and it's grounding out the whole chassis and it's supplying a good ground for the motor and the body and the chassis, the better you're going to be. If you don't do those things, you're going to know. Most of the times, if you won't get a good ground, you aren't going to... You're going to know because you aren't getting power anywhere. You're. I've had it to where I've seen... A car has come to me, and, and the headlights weren't working, and the electrical system in the dash wasn't working, but the car was firing up. Everything was running good. Everything else was working, and I was, like, going, what's going on here? I'm checking headlight switches, you know, stuff like that. When it turned out, there was no... Gosh, dang, phone's ringing again. Um, there's no... Uh, there was no ground. You know what I mean? From the body to the chassis. So it was just, it was getting ground barely, and somehow the lights were, like, really dim and stuff. But uh, all they did was hook up a nice ground, and everything started working properly. Yeah, that ground's very, very important. <coughs> and, uh, you know, like you were saying with uh, using the heavy gauge battery cable, it's just something you, if you're moving the battery to the trunk, you have to be aware of because... Yeah, you get a drop. You're going to start running into problems if you're just using like a, a four gauge cable or something to run that distance. Because the further away and the longer the run is, the more of a power drop you have. Yes, and uh, it might it it'll do it probably when you first start the car, but it'll also lead to hot start problems. Yeah, if you don't have a big enough gauge yep. wire. So that's something to take into consideration as well. All right, we got uh, Adam Povac with a 68 Cadillac. Um, he keeps having battery draining problems. I mean, it's, uh, you know, with these old cars, it's without looking at the car, it's hard to tell what the problem is, you know. I know on those cars, I've ran into the problem where if it has electric seats, they're very common for the electric switch sticking on they go bad and power stays on he doesn't know it you don't 
the seat's not moving forward and back, but it just has, it's just pulling a draw. So there are things like that. And, and you know, the tricks to finding those, uh, those draws, are, it's pretty simple. I mean, just put the car in a quiet place, have a buddy, and um, disconnect the battery, the negative. And uh, once you do that, we'll tell you how to finish when we come back from this break. Yes, we're going to take another break, so we'll be right back. Don't leave to wash those hands. We'll be right back in the garage with Bodie Stroud. 